welcome to Shannon and Veronica Know Everything. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to be going over vasculitis, large, medium, and small vessel, as well as fibromyalgia. So to start with large vessel, we can remember this as talk about GCA, or you can remember it as the two T's because GCA is also known as temporal arteritis. So it's temporal arteritis and takiyasu. Um, so this has inflammation of large vessels throughout the body. So with GCA or temporal arteritis, this is going to be granulomatous disorder. So you kind of have a granuloma where you're walling substances off because there's inflammation and then it occurs in the temporal arteries, so right here. So it's generally going to be unilateral, so you'll have a unilateral headache and that's how you know that it's coming on. And it's associated with PMR, polymy polymyalgia rheumatica, which is um, stiffness and pain of proximal muscle. Um, girdles, shoulder and hip girdles. So um, if you do not treat this very quickly, then it can be associated with blindness. You need to make sure to treat it very quickly with prednisone. So that's GCA, also known as temporal arteritis. Moving on to Takayasu, this is a large vessel vasculitis associated with pulses, lower extremities, fever, and different blood pressures on each side of the body. So GCA is greater than 50, remember GCA grandma, and Takayasu is less than 50. So those are the large vessel vasculitides. And other large vessel vasculitides, there's a bunch of them, these are just two kind of general things you'll see with them, is limb claudication and asymmetric blood pressures. So say you have like the femoral, um, femoral artery is inflamed, you'll have limb claudication, so not enough blood getting to your limb, or you'll have different blood pressures kind of associated with that. So next, moving down to medium vessel, we remember this as cow pan. So Kawasaki's and pan polyarteritis sandosa. So Kawasaki is a pediatric condition associated with a really high sudden onset spiking fever. And the mnemonic that we are not going over this time is crash and burn. And then pan polyarteritis nodosa. Um, this can be associated with hep B, food fear, and mononeuritis multiplex. So this typically involves the renal and visceral vessels. The way we can remember this I actually don't know, it's just kind of all the weird things are with pan. You remember pan of food, and food have been, and I don't know, it's just like all the weird things with polyarteritis sedosa. So that's cow pan, Kawasaki's polyarteritis sedosa are the medium vessels. And then with small vessels, kind of general clinical manifestations, you can see a lot of glomerular nephritis, because um, glomeruli are very small with the afferent and the efferent um, glomerulus. So kind of think of like the tiniest vessels in the body, you're gonna have effects here. Um, so we have ANCA and non-ANCA. This is just a serology marker. So with the Wagner's and Church Strauss, you're going to see the positive ANCA serology marker. And with HSP and Bichette's, you'll see the negative or the non-ANCA serology marker. Um, so these are just a couple of the conditions that are ANCA positive and negative. So know that there's a lot more. We kind of just are going to go through a couple today. So two ANCA positives are Wagner's and Church Strauss. With Wagner's, just remember ENT deformities. You're going to have a um, deformed nose and then Church Strauss's adult asthma. So we remember these by the dog named Anka is chugging along and wagging its tail. So here's our little dog. And then non-ANC is gonna be HSP, which is, I'm sure that's like German for vera. I don't know, the HS is like a German word. And so with this, you're gonna have palpable purr specifically on the lower extremities, and then, like I mentioned, glomerular nephritis also with this. And then Bichette's um, is going to be oral and genital ulcers. So to conclude, um, we have large vessel, medium vessel, and small vessel vasculitis, which is inflammation of veins and arteries, vasculature throughout the body. Large vessel is talk about GCA or taka and temporal. And then medium vessel, calpian, and small vessel, just remember the ANCA dog and the non-ANCA conditions. So Veronica's gonna go over fibromyalgia. All right, hi everyone, I'm gonna quickly go over fibromyalgia, as Shan just said. Um, so this initially was thought of as more of a sight condition, um, but it has kind of evolved since it was initially um, noted. So this is a persistent, more than three months widespread pain and tenderness on both sides of the body. Um, so it can also include like stiffness, fatigue, there's cognitive difficulties, so patients kind of think they feel foggy, there's a lot of unexplained symptoms, they feel like depression, anxiety, functional impairments, so individuals aren't doing their normal ADLs. Um, so lots of stuff going on. Just remember that it's just like this persistent three months of just like lots of symptoms occurring. 
and you kind of want to rule out other things, of course. Um, as far as diagnosis, what you're going to be using is the widespread pain index. So this is the chart of like 19 areas where your patients can kind of go through and mark where they're having all of the pain. And there are two categories that will diagnose the fibromyalgia. So you can have a widespread pain index greater than seven, and then you also need to have some um, symptoms that are greater than five or you can have a widespread pain index three to six and then the symptoms greater than nine. So it's kind of hard to remember. I don't really know of a great way. So just kind of, kind of get that down in your head. Um, as far as treatment, there's non-farm and then there's farm. So non-farm, you're gonna focus on diet, stress management, sleep therapy, and then pharmacological, you can use antidepressants. So duloxetine and then uh, milnasopram. And then you can also use anticonvulsant uh, pregabalin. So that's fibromyalgia, and then we also went over the vasculitis today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe.